How you doing? This is uh, Coco Hiding with TakeAnee.com. I'm here to do a tax session with the wide receiver coach, former head coach, uh, Tony Burrell. Tony, yeah. I appreciate you being here with TakeAnee.com. Just awesome. be able to sit and pick your brain a little bit here. Well, thank you. It's great to be here. It's a lot of fun. I think it's a great deal, man. It, great for coaches to be able to have the opportunity to do this and be able to talk to you. Awesome. You know, uh, Tony, um, in, in, in regards, I know you're an ex-head coach. You're here at Centennial. Yeah. but but. Let's talk a little bit about where did you start your football and how did how did it evolve to end up here at Centennial, the number one public school in the whole nation? <laughs> you want to know all of it? Uh, I've been everywhere, man. It's uh, you know I started back uh, coaching Pop Warner and um, and had a vision at the time uh, that uh, at some point I wanted to be able to be a varsity head coach. And so I did it uh, what I thought was the right way. I went and, and I learned everything. I, I coached every position. I coached Pop Warner. I coached um, freshmen, um, did offensive line, defensive line, linebackers, ended up being the defensive coordinator at Redlands freshman, uh, Redlands team, uh, Redlands high school on the freshman team. And then I went over to Aquinas High School and I was the uh, JV head coach, uh, offensive coordinator, then defensive coordinator. So I did both sides of the ball. And you know, I grew up as an offensive lineman and defensive lineman. And, um, and man, I just started coaching whatever I can that I wanted to learn. And then I had my first opportunity to play, uh, to coach high school, uh, to varsity at San Gregorio High School in San Bernardino. And uh, coached offensive line there for a few years, ended up becoming the offensive coordinator. And then after three years, became the head coach. And I was there for uh, three more years as the head coach. Um, I was the offensive coordinator for the first year and the defensive coordinator for the next two. And um, from there, um, we won our first league championship in, in 30 years at the school. Um, we just had a lot of fun there and, and went on to La Sierra High School in Riverside. Mm -hmm. Was there for three years. Um, we got to playoffs, uh, went to the, uh, to the semifinals, won the first league championship in 16 years. Opened up Summit High School, was there six years. Um, was the offensive coordinator, defensive coordinator there for a while. We ended up winning a CIF championship. And then uh, went to Roosevelt High School. I was there for four years as a head coach. Um, had some success, but then ended up deciding to come over to Centennial and join Matt. So I've been all over the place. Awesome. Yeah. You know, um, I had mentioned to Dan Herring that the staff this year had four head coaches on the staff. Mm -hmm. You know, three on the defensive side of the ball and, and you over there. And, and what I recognize is all of us at as soon as we walk in the gates and on the football field, we became low soldiers. Yeah. And, and it's something about this program mm -hmm. that says that when you walk in, you're all in. Yeah. You know, and, and no, no. How, does, how does that happen here, Tony? Well, you know, I mean, our head, our head coach is incredible. You know, Matt, uh, he, he does things better than anybody. You know, I, I thought that after a while I'd learned and I, I thought we had done some pretty good things and we were winning CIF championship and, and things were, you know, successful. And then I come here and I find that first year I'm sitting there and it's a coaching clinic. And every day I'm sitting in a meeting and he's just, and he's got guys that have been here for a long time, you know, former head coaches like you said, but he also has guys that have, have, have junior All-American experience and, and come on to staff and learn what he knows. The former players, he's just got guys who've been around and there's a lot of loyalty. So everybody just knows a role and wants the success. So it doesn't matter if I'm a former head coach, I can, I can snap a ball, I can go pick up a cone, I can, you know, I can hold a bag, I can hand signal, uh, because it's, that's our role. That's what we're doing because we're all here for the greater good. And it all starts in that, though. I mean, he's the lead. Yeah, awesome. You know, I, I had uh, the blessing to be able to spend four days with him up at, um, in Canada when we worked with the select teams and really get to know somebody when you when you're just there and away from everything and yep. you know to me it was a, it was a great experience and then now I truly recognize why the program is the way it is oh, yeah. you know it, it, just like growing <coughs> up you know the, you, as kids we're going to learn what our parents do so yeah. I can see why the kids act the way they are yeah. why why they're excited about this coming uh, season's um schedule oh yeah you know they're yeah. not they're no weak sisters you know no. what you guys have or you guys have you guys have the guys yep and, and, and that is completely Matt Logan's uh, mindset and the kids, they all, you know, they, they flourish in it. No doubt. Right? No doubt. They, well, there's, there's a confidence here, man. I mean, when, you know, when you walk on the football field, when I was just, I would coached against uh, Centennial for years, but, but I hadn't watched it because it was a competitive issue. When I came onto the sidelines for a couple years before I became a coach here, and I watched uh, Centennial play the modern days and Bosco's of life, and I saw modern day and Bosco just and De La Salle, and I saw these guys six five, six six monsters, and I saw Centennial, and you know they'd have a D lineman that was five nine, and they'd have a right guard that was six foot, and they had a, you know, and there was 
Centennial was so much smaller, but there was a swagger and a confidence and just, it wasn't an arrogance, it was just they knew they were going to win. You know, and, and again, that starts from the top that, um, you know, there's just a belief that what we do is we work harder and we're more prepared than everybody else. And it starts from the top. Awesome.